gonna press tree in this window for side view okay I'm going to come down going to come to the front of this and press shift and tab and left select edge I'm going to select the front four edges here I'm just going to press and hold the middle mouse button just to rotate to the back and the center line is always difficult to see this one here so I'm just going to do the same thing two edges each side of the center okay back to front view I'm just going to press Z and left select wireframe okay I want to extrude this down so I'm just going to press E to extrude and extrude them down left click to lock them in okay I just want to scale them in slightly so press S to scale maybe just drag them back a little bit and S again and just scale them back out okay I want to scale them in the X so I'm just going to press S to scale X for the X axis and that's from front front view okay left click when I'm happy to lock them in I'm going to come back over to side view and press E to extrude and just extrude down and left click to lock that in I'm going to press S to scale and just turn them in slightly again I'm going to come to front view and press S to scale X for the X axis and just drag these in left click when I'm happy and I'm going to extrude one more time so E to extrude left click to lock that in I'm just going to press S to scale and just bring them in close together maybe just turn them up slightly okay I'm just going to press and hold the middle mouse button rotate around and I'm going to press control tab and left select vertex I want to join these together so I'm going to select the outermost vertex press and hold shift and select the opposite press alt m and merge left select at center I'm going to left select the next vertex in press and hold shift and select the second the opposite one press alt m for merge and left select at center and I'm just going to left select the center one now press and hold shift select the opposite press alt m for merge and left select at center okay and that just joins up our meshes okay I'm just going to come over to side view press and hold shift and press and hold the right mouse button and just lasso select that and just drag this up slightly okay I just want to make a couple of little changes I'm just going to press S sorry A to deselect I'm going to press and hold alt sorry I'm going to press and hold control and press and hold the right mouse button and just make a lasso selection around the back edges here and just drag these out slightly okay I'm just going to press A to deselect it's going to do the exact same thing here press and hold control and lasso select this with by pressing the right the right mouse button just drag this in Okay, I'm come over to the f this window. Press one for front view. I'm gonna press and hold Alt and select this entire edge here. I think first I need to round out some of these corners. So I'm gonna press Z and left select solid shading, and I'm just going to select some of these and form a better shape so we can extrude the legs from them I don't want all these edges or all these vertices so close together just going to grab these and drag them in the Z axis Okay, I'm not sure if that's much better. It's just it's a slow process and Okay, I can always fix these at a later date. Okay.
Okay, I'm just going to drag a couple more. Okay, I'm going to be happy enough with that for the moment. I'm just going to press Z and left select wireframe. I can actually just, it's easier to get a view here in wireframe. Just drag these across. Okay, that'll do for the moment. What I'm going to do is just press A to deselect. I'm actually going to select this here and just drag it up slightly. I'm going to press A again, deselect. I'm just going to press and hold Control and press and hold the right mouse button and just lasso select this section here and just drag it in. Okay, I'm just going to press A to deselect. I'm going to press and hold Alt and select this entire edge. Okay, now I want to extrude, so I press E to extrude and just drag this down and left click to lock that in. I'm going to press R and just rotate this slightly and just drag it down. I'm going to press S and scale it in so it's following the profile a little bit better. I'm just going to grab it here and maybe drag it forward slightly into the center of that. I'm going to press E to extrude again and extrude down here, left click to lock that in. I'm going to press R and rotate. Just going to press Ctrl Z. Just going to press R to rotate again and left click to lock that in. I'm going to press S and scale this in. Okay, left click, lock that in position. Again, I'm just going to come over to side view and maybe drag that forward slightly. Okay, I'm going to press E to extrude again, drag this down, left click and press R for rotate and just rotate and press S to scale and scale this in. Okay, I'm just going to press Z and left select solid shading. I'm just going to have a look at this before I continue on any further. Make sure there's no vert vertices falling in on each other and Okay, just going to grab some of these points and maybe give the leg a better shape there. But again, this can be this can be done when it's extruded the whole way down and you have a better idea of the shape. Okay, so I'm just going to press one for front view. I'm just going to press press and hold Alt and left select. I'm just going to press R and just flatten this out a little bit better left click to lock that in. I'm just going to press S, scale it down and just drag this out. Maybe just S and scale it back, left click. Okay. And now I'm going to extrude down towards the top of the knee. So I'm just going to press E, drag this down maybe to here, left click to lock that in. I'm going to press S, and scale this down. Left click, lock that in position. Okay, I'm just going to press S to scale here, maybe Y for the Y axis, and just drag this out a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to assume the center of the knee is maybe around here, so I'm just going to press E to extrude and drag down to that point. Maybe left click, and I'm happy to lock that in. I'm just going to press R to rotate and just flatten that out. I'm just going to press S to scale Z for the Z axis and that'll just flatten that up a little bit better. Okay, now I'm just going to press E to extrude and come down past the knee, left click, press S maybe to scale that out. And one more time down to the top of the foot. I'm going to press E to extrude and left click to lock that in, just press S and scale this in, left click, okay, press and hold the middle mouse button just to have a look, okay, there's probably a nice bit of point pulling just to get a better shape on those legs, but I'm just going to press Control S and save that, and that's going to be it for this tutorial, I hope you enjoyed it, I'll see you next time, 
goodbye. Hello and welcome back to the next tutorial in this series. Today I'm going to model the hand. So I'm going to press tab and left select object mode. I'm just going to press A to deselect everything. I'm going to right click and place the cursor at that location. I'm going to press shift A to add a mesh and left select cylinder. Now before I do anything or make modifications to this cylinder, I'm just going to press T and bring up the property panel. And as you can see, initially, these properties are here for the cylinder and I'm going to change vertices to eight and press enter. Okay, and actually I can change the fill type to nothing and that just makes life a little bit easier. Okay, I can press T now to hide that. And now I can press S to scale this down a little bit. I need to rotate it also on the Y axis. So I'm just going to press R for rotation, Y for the Y axis, 9, 0 and enter. Just going to roll the mouse wheel to zoom in. I'm going to press S to scale this S to scale this down and just left click when I'm happy. I'm going to come over to the side view here and press 7 for top view. And again, I'm in top or the graphic. You can toggle between perspective and ortho by pressing 5 on the keypad. I'm just going to grab this in the Y direction and drag. Press S and scale it down slightly. Just going to drag it over. I'm going to press S to scale X for the X axis and just drag this out. I'm going to press S and scale it down a little bit. Again, S to scale X for the X axis and just when I'm happy, I can left click, lock it in to position. Okay, I'm going to press tab now. I need to go into edit mode and make some modifications. Okay, I'm just going to press Ctrl R and roll the mouse wheel once to put in two loop cuts and left click twice to lock that in position. I'm just going to press and hold the middle mouse button just to rotate around here. I'm actually going to press 1 for just top view again and I'm going to press Ctrl Tab and left select edge mode. I'm going to select this edge here, press and hold Shift and select this edge and the bottom two opposite ones. Okay, I'm going to press E to extrude and just right click and cancel that. I'm going to press control space and just select the scale and just going to grab this here and drag these down. Okay, I need to join these up now so I'm going to press control tab and left select vertex. I'm going to select the first vertex, shift select the second and press alt M and we can join those or merge those and left select at center. Again, left select this vertex, press and hold shift and left select the opposite vertex, press alt M and merge and left select at center. And exactly the same thing for the last two, alt M and merge at center. I'll do this for this one here. I'm going to left select Press and hold shift, left select, alt M, and this time I'm going to merge at last. Okay, left select, press and hold shift, so left select this one, alt M, and merge at last. Now I'm going to press control tab and left select face. I'm going to select these two faces here and press E to extrude. Right click and just cancel that and S to scale that down slightly. Okay. I'm just going to press control space and bring back the translate manipulator. Okay. Just going to press E to extrude and extrude this down slightly. I'm going to press E to extrude again. Right click to cancel S and just scale that in and then just drag this up. K2, okay, probably about here. I'm going to left select these two faces and just drag them forward. Okay, now is probably a good time to come up to the object modifier panel. I'm 